Welcome to the installation tutorial for the Wraith V2 plugin as well as the Lookups plugin. Both of them are going to be required to work with each other. Do note that you need the plus version or higher of Sonoran CAD to run these plugins. You need to have the plugin framework already installed and we have a video about the installation about that. Let's now open by clicking here. Now go to releases on the GitHub and download the source code zip from the latest release. Once it's downloaded, we need to open it up, navigate through the first folder. Now we need to go to our plugins folder within the framework. In our resources, Sonoran, Sonoran CAD plugins, there we are. Now drag and drop it over. Once we do that, we can open up the folder and rename the config by removing the change me from it. Once we do that, we can open up the config and configure the plugin. From here, we need to enable it by changing that to true. As you can say, lookups is required, so we'll install that after this. Now to go down to the configuration. We need to make sure that it's enabled in two places. First above and now right here is plugin enabled, switch it to true. Um, the next thing is going to be use expires. Uh, if you would like it to display uh, vehicle registration expirations, uh, put true or false there. As well as if you want to use middle initial um, when displaying it, put true or false there as well. Now that we've done that, we can close out of that. Now we need to install the lookups plugin. Let's go back to the plugins folder, close out of there. Now let's open up the lookups plugin. Do note that we need to just follow the standard plugin installation guide. Do note that we also need to have our API ID within the Sonoran CAD in the settings. I've already got that, so we're not gonna worry about that today. Open up the lookups, go down to here hyperlink, Once we're there, we need to download the latest source code. Once it's downloaded, open it up, navigate through the first folder, and then you'll just need to drag and drop lookups folder into the plugins folder. Once you do that, open up the folder, rename the config and remove change me from it. Once we do that, we can open it up. In here, we need to enable the plugin, changing it to true. It has no required plugins. Below are some configuration options, max cache time, uh, max time to cache a plate hit. Um, it's going to be in seconds. Uh, default, it's 120. Uh, let's just keep it at 120 for now. The next one is stale purge timer. It's going to be at 600, and that's delay between garbage collections. Um, the default is 10 minutes. If you don't know what you're doing, just keep these as default. As well as the last option was auto lookup, which just keep that on true. Um, in the documentation, you can see and it explains exactly what it means. Essentially, stale purge timer is how long it needs to keep in unscanned plate. It's going to be 600 seconds, which equals out to 10 minutes. As we can see, keep auto lookup enabled, and then now we can move forward. Ensure that you do have the Wraith um, radar started in your server, uh, in your server.cfg, since that's essential for this. Um, it does ship out with the Snoren CAD framework. So it's already going to be downloaded within your Snoren framework. As you can see, everything's in there. We don't need to configure any of it. Let's go to our server CFG and make sure that that resource is getting started. As you can see, I already have it in there as ensure WK underscore wars 2x. Now we do that, we'll see you in game. All right. 
Now that we're in game, we're going to configure the radar in game. Let's toggle display to get the radar up, turn it on, as well as configure to how you please. Now let's open up the plate reader, toggle the display for the plate reader. We're going to move it down up to your preference. Okay, now that we're all done with that, let's just drive up to the vehicle and lock it. As you can see, it is now locked and it is now showing on the ALPR that it has been ran, the plate status when it expires, as well as the owner. It also pulls up the window in your CAD since you set your API ID with the lookup of the plate already. Thank you for choosing Sonoran Software Systems.